beautiful people. Welcome back in the Broken Finger series. Um, tonight we're trying something a little differently. My hand is literally in a plastic bag that I have taped around my wrist because it's hard to get the glove on over my splint. <laughs> it's like a mitten on my kitten. Ah. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. I hope it's going to work. I don't know. Um, in the interest of not hurting myself more, I am using 12 by 12s tonight, but we're going to do two of them. Um, it's fall. The temperatures are dropping. Leaves are changing color. It's a beautiful time of year. Um, I'm kind of enjoying not being hot all the time. So we're going to play with some fall inspired themes. Um, what we're going to do tonight are two flip cups on two 12 by 12s. And then when these are dry, we're going to come back. And I found these really pretty stencils that I'm very excited about. I think they're so pretty, these two. And we're going to do these on top of the dried flip cups. So I'm very excited about this. I think they're really beautiful and very fall feeling and I'm excited. So we're going to do this. Let me show you the colors that we're working with tonight. They're very, very pretty. Um, we have first, we're using a lot of Pebeo Studios acrylics. This is the iridescent copper. And I have the iridescent orange yellow, which I really like a lot. This one is cad uh, dark cadmium yellow. And this one is primary yellow. So I have these four and then I also have 24 karat gold and I have some titanium white from Amsterdam that we're going to use. We're going to do some sandwich pours. So what I'm looking for here is a very light layering of colors, a lot of white more than anything else. And uh, I think it's going to make a very pretty soft, beautiful background in these colors for the pumpkins that we're going to do on there later. So we're going to actually flip layer both of these at the same time. Okay, so, so <laughs> I hope this works. I don't know if I can. <laughs> okay, let's try it. We're going to pour some white in the bottom of both of these. Okay. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> We're going to start with some of that very pretty. Maybe I'll take the sticks out. Maybe that'll be, that's the thing to do. But let me show you consistency since we're here. Mound on a mound and then sinks into itself pretty fast. Okay. All right, now our colors. Okay, so a little bit of copper. Now these are gonna be light layers of color, so I'm not gonna go real heavy handed with them. Come with that iridescent orange yellow that I love so much. This is such a pretty color. Yellow. I hope this doesn't get all full of paint. Maybe we'll use this hand. A little bit of this deep cadmium yellow. I'm gonna go a little bit gold on there. Okay, now we're gonna put a thicker layer of the white. Oh, I can actually do something else with my left hand. I'm amazed. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do that again. Layer of copper. yellow. I guess you never really know what you do unless you try it. <laughs> or what you can do unless you try it. Okay. A little bit of yellow in there. Deep cadmium yellow. A little bit of gold. And another last layer of white on top. So this is why it's called a sandwich pour because we're sandwiching all of those colors in between the layers of the white. Okay, let's scoot those over. All right, that's a 12 by 12. Okay, we're gonna start with a little puddle of gold. Okay, I'm not gonna try to flip it with my left hand though. <laughs> all right, are you ready husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. Let's flip that one over. We'll give that a second. I guess we can do the other one while that one's getting ready. Same thing. We're going to pour a puddle of gold in the middle. And the reason for the puddle of gold is as we stretch this out and it gets nice and thin. You ready, honey? Mm -hmm. Then sometimes we get some pretty gold cells popping up underneath. 
So for a 12 by 12, you only need about five and a half ounces of paint. These are like seven or eight ounce cups. So I don't think I'm gonna bother with a base coat. Maybe, I don't know. We'll flip it out and we'll see how it looks. If we need some, I have some standing by. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I last that I am. Here we go. We might lip this one and we'll see what it looks like. I'm just gonna kind of pick it up though. I don't think I want to lip it actually. Well, maybe just to go through that. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, we'll leave that one there for a second and we'll do the other one. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. That's pretty too cool. We'll put one line through it. Okay. Alright. Cool. Alright, so we'll let that one sit for a second. I'll we'll bring this one back over. Thank you, little cup. Oh, that's so cool. Can you see all those cells inside of there? <laughs> that's so neat. Wow. So pretty looking. Okay, let's uh, torch this real quick. pretty nice and soft kind of diffuse but still nice color in there I like the cells we're getting that's really pretty let's clean up this edge a little bit okay okay that one's really pretty I like that, I'm happy with it. Okay, let's do this one now. Just uh, to make sure we have some, I did go over the sides and edges with some white already. Any excuse for finger painting? <laughs> okay, that's really pretty too. All right, I'm not gonna torch this one yet, we'll torch it afterwards. Let's tilt. This is so pretty, it looks like a sunrise almost. Move it up that way. Come back to the center. Up this edge. So when you're doing the sandwich pours that are going to use a lot of white, you don't want to use very pale colors to start with. You want to use colors that are pretty bold and that are going to show up through the white. So they become sort of pastel versions of themselves. Because if you use something super, like if you use something really white, it's probably not going to show up that much. So just think about your color choices a little bit. That's really pretty too. I'm going to take this down a little bit, even though I like all those cells and things like this. We want more of a simple background for the pumpkin on there. We don't want a lot of busyness. So we're just going to let this stretch out because I really like what the top part is doing closest to me. That's really pretty. Both of these came out really pretty. I like them. It's so interesting how the same cups layered the same way <laughs> turn out looking very different. Okay. All right. So here are our two 12 by 12s. Ooh, that's really pretty in there. All right. So um, we'll come back when these are dry and we will do the stencil on them. Okay. We'll be right back. Really pretty. You see that shimmer 
from the 24 karat gold and from the iridescent orange yellow too. Really cool. Hello my beautiful people, welcome back. Um, so now this is part two of our flip cup gorgeous oranges pumpkin stencil diptych that we've done. These are dry now, the beautiful 12 by 12 flip cups that we did. They came out really, really pretty. Very happy with this color combination. I love that iridescent, iridescent orange yellow from Pebio. I like the cadmium yellow deep. I like the copper in there, kind of blingy and beautiful. Some beautiful cells, some 24 karat gold cells. Very happy with both of these. So now we get to do the really fun part. I have my two pumpkin stencils here. I'll put them down on the table so you can see them on the black, but they're very, very pretty, and I'm really looking forward to this. So let's get started. Let's do this one first. I'm gonna put it on this canvas, and lucky for me, it's a 12 by 12. Tiny bit of planning there. <laughs> and we're gonna tape it down now. I just wanna get it centered on the canvas like I want it. Okay. So now we're just gonna tape this down, nice and easy. corners and don't be shy with your tape sometimes it helps if you fold over a little edge of it so you can actually grab it easier when you're done I want that straight on there okay I'm just gonna put one more down here make sure it's nice and tight and flat okay so the color that we're going to be using to do our stencil in is this little piggy pigment in cinnamon. And I absolutely love this color. It is gorgeous. And I have mixed it with my golden heavy gel gloss. And I have it standing by in this little tub. You can see that shimmer and sparkle on there. It's amazing. So we'll save that for later. Um, I have a couple different palette knives here that I'm going to use and I have some baby wipes. Baby wipes are your friend whenever you are working with gel gloss, have some standing by. Okay, so we're just going to go, I'm going to do the whole thing in that cinnamon because I think it's going to be really, really beautiful. So I'm going to use a slightly smaller palette knife to do the edges first and then when we get into the center with the bigger parts, we can just use a bigger one. Okay, so I'm just going to start here and I'm just going to slide it on top. And I think this is going to be really, really pretty with the colors that we have going on. Okay. I'm sure you fill in all the gaps. Okay. okay. It's harder with my finger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> my finger's getting better. This is taking a little bit of time. Don't break your fingers. I don't recommend it. It's not fun. But you learn a lot about yourself. <laughs> I thought about doing these vines and stuff a different color, but I think it's going to be beautiful. With this cinnamon, is a really beautiful color, and I think it's going to stand out a lot against the paler orange tones that we have already. So I'm not going to make life more difficult for myself by doing it in a different color. I'm just going to stay with one we've got. have to actually be kind of smooth it could be textured that would be pretty cool too that's why I'm not worrying about you know like the overlap there very very much because you know you could drive yourself crazy with any number of things the question is do you want to I do not so okay I think we're all covered what do you think HOA I'm not happy about that edge though Get a baby wipe and see if we can't clean that up a little bit. It'd be easier after you take the stencil off. Probably right. Alright, okay. So we're going to take this tape off, this tape off, and we're going to get 
can't read. There we go. Texture, those does look pretty cool. How's that? That's awesome. I love it. I love the very sharp def definition and all those beautiful. A couple little places that it's not perfect, but like I said, it's all good. <laughs> I'm happy. I think this looks really, really cool. Does it look cool from over there? Yep. Awesome. And as it dries, it's just going to get shinier. So well, that was a lot of fun. You can see the texture. The texture looks really cool. Yeah, the texture is. So don't worry about it if it has texture on it. All right, now I'm going to get a baby wipe or two. And we're just going to wipe this off. Wipe that off. Huh? Oh, yeah, you're right. Scraper doohickey. I'm just gonna scrape this. First, gently. And then watch this. <laughs> I love that. Some uh, Dawn Power Wash works really, really well getting rid of this stuff. And uh, you want to do both sides. So wipe it down as best you can. Try not to do that to it. You know, be gentle. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put him over there for a minute. All right, let's bring this guy over now. I'm going to tape him down. Make sure your hands are clean when you're doing this setup step. Because you don't want to get a bunch of stuff from your last one on your new painting. Can you open that? I can't do it very, very well. Okay. So, we're going to take some of our Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss. I'm going to take about a teaspoon. Maybe a teaspoon and a half. Okay. You want to make sure that it's closed all the way. So this is Athena, and we're gonna take some of this healthy scoop, that's maybe half a teaspoon, maybe, if that. I'm gonna put our jar on, lid on first, and then we're just gonna mix this up. You should be wearing a mask if you're using a lot and mixing a lot. Once it's mixed in with the gel gloss and it's liquidy or pasty, then you're fine. You don't need to worry about it. You can actually see the sparkles of the dust falling out. Mm-hmm. And like a... You know, this is a little pinker than I want. I think I'm going to add just a tiny bit of the cinnamon that I was using to it to deepen it up just a bit. It's actually really fun to mix the piggy colors and see what you end up with. But sometimes it's very different. this pinkish coppery bronzy cool color. Alright, we're gonna come back 
one, peel some of this and just sort of blend it. So you can get all of your, this little piggy pigments and uh, stuck up piggies at fluid-art.co. They have some amazing stuff and they have all these beautiful colors that just came out. That's Burnt Sierra and a beautiful one called Psych, which I'm going to use actually after, right after we're done doing this. So I'm super excited about those. Okay. On that one. So, okay. That's looking good. Let's take this one off and see what we get. Did I miss anything? I think that looks pretty neat. What do you think, HOA? Mm -hmm. And that Athena is going to dry super sparkly also. So I think these turned out really cool. So there we go. There's our uh, pumpkin stencil diptych for our fall. <laughs> I love these. I think they're really, really pretty. And uh, I will show you guys. Try. I'll take them outside the sun in about an hour and shoot some outro for you. So. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today and for being here with us. We do really appreciate you. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll see you real soon. Okay, so this is the next day after we did the stencil and they are totally dry. They were dry in about an hour, but they look really, really pretty. I hope you guys, I'm pretty sure you can see the bling. <laughs> that TLP cinnamon is an amazing, amazing color and I think it was the perfect choice for this background. I really like the way that the pumpkins came out. Um, I did really like the flip cups as well. I'm a little bummed that we covered up so much of that, but you know, I really like the pumpkins and for fall decor, I think they're really pretty. And these stencils were from Amazon. There was like a bunch of different pumpkin ones in them, but I like these too. I think they turned out really cool. Um, beautiful details in here. Let me focus. There we go. Nice crisp lines. Not totally, totally perfect, but for what it is, I'm very happy. And then this one was the second one that we did that I had the, the cinnamon on the right side and then I mixed up some Athena and it's pretty similar. <laughs> Even though that's a more pink color, it came out really pretty. So I'm very happy with both of these. I think they came out awesome. And I hope you guys enjoyed this too. So thank you so much for being here with us today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.